I'm Levi, and me and my brother are about to leave North Carolina to head all the way up to the Big Apple, New York City. And from there, we're making the journey through all of New England, hitting Boston, Massachusetts, up to Portland, Maine, going through New Hampshire and Vermont, and stopping in upstate New York. This is the East Coast. Hello! It's me, Levi. I'm back here with another adventure today. This is day... We're still on this New England road trip. We're still in New Hampshire, but today we're on the way to Portland, Maine. Welcome to Maine. Welcome home, they say. We're in Maine. First time in Maine? Let's get it. Hey. Hey. Gotta get over. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Going on right now. We're good. We almost missed our uh, our turn, but we're good. Oh, I can see it. Check it out, guys. Hey, that's cool. All right, so we're in a parking garage. Um, trying to find a parking spot. I can get up in here. So. It is drizzling here in Portland, but we're still gonna go walk around, check out the city. There's a bunch of things that we just passed, like cool little stores, cool little shops, cool little restaurants. There is a restaurant here that apparently has the best lobster rolls in the country, and you know we're gonna try those. Luckily, the thing about being on a road trip is you have all of your stuff in your car. So, so I have my rain jacket here, my Gore-Tex jacket. Keep me nice and dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, took me out, dude. What the heck? All right, so we're heading on to the Portland Observatory now, and it's pretty far away, so we might rent some bikes. All right, we got bikes now. Seven minute ride away. So let's go ahead and Continue on head Thomas on. For half a mile. The Portland Observatory is basically a giant tower that you can climb all the way to the top to and get views of the whole city, which hopefully we get good views. I don't know how tall it is, if it's in the clouds or not, but. Ah. First right out the rip, we got a giant hill. I didn't know that there was this big of hills in Portland since it's right beside the ocean, but dang, I didn't adjust my seat either. There it is. Let's see if we can get up in there or not. You can go straight up and you look at the panels on the All right, we're in here. Interesting. This place was built in 1807. Very old. I guess this is like a mini model of what it looks like. You got a young John there. So the difference between this and lighthouses, the lighthouses uh, were what ships were looking out for, but this was like a watchtower that was looking out for ships. It communicated with the ships with these flags that it would hoist out. So this is level three, and I guess there, there's six levels, and then top, top, watch out, or lookout point. This is all the flags that they hoisted. Oh man, it's a lot cooler out here. It is a lot, I know, it's hot. <laughs> we have to keep the windows closed because of uh, the rain. Yeah, here's the flag poles that they would hoist the flags on. Obviously, this is Portland, very foggy right now, but it's still cool. Well, that was the Portland Observatory. It was very foggy up there, but it was still cool. We're only here for a day, so I have to go see it. One of the things to do here in Portland. We have lucked out here. Well, we think we've lucked out. There's e-bikes over here. Hopefully they're charged. We're, we're loving the e-bikes in New York City and they have e-bikes here. So let's see if they're charged up. There's two of them. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Making a little noise, dude. Oh my gosh, these things are so nice. They're so fast. They have a speedometer on it too. Nothing like it, man. Just ripping through Portland. Plus, there's less traffic in this city, so it's less stressful to like cruise around on a bike. It's very nice. They have something going on down there. Caden just went down there on the bike. There's a bunch of people in suits. I don't know if it's a wedding or if it's a, I don't know what it is. I'm gonna go down there. There's like a foggy view of the harbor, but it's pretty cool. Oh, we can get down there. There's a road down there. Oh, we gotta go down there. Yeah, there's a road that gets down to the water down there. I think it's a bike lane. Holy crap. Come here. All right, this is mission. Get down there, because there's a bike lane that rides next to the harbor. Look at the seagull coming in hot. They're, dude, the seagulls here are freaking massive. Way larger than at home. They're like flying turkeys. Hey, look at this. There's a bike lane down there. We gotta figure out how to get down there. We might be able to go down here. The stairs? Ah, it's just stairs. Oh, ah. oh my gosh, it's so <laughs> Chunk. Ah, ah. Caden, gosh dang, Caden, gosh. Caden, no, other way, gosh dang it. You're going up, you numb nut. Where is he going? We were just up there. We gotta go that way. Look at this view. Caden's catching up now. Caden went the opposite direction like five times. We found it. We found it. Get blasted with mist. Stopped here at the harbor, getting out of the rain a little bit. We were getting blasted, dude. I'm so <laughs> Look at this. Very cool. All right, so the next plan, I think, we're gonna go head to the best lobster rolls in Portland at a place called High Roller Lobster Company. It's right here downtown. It's not too far away. And we're gonna go get some lobster rolls. Turn left onto Federal Street. Oh dude, we, we, got, we have a protest over here. We have a milk protest? I see milk on the sign, so I don't know. What this is about something about milk what is this what is yeah, it so this is um, a group called migrant justice it's led by farm workers they're dairy farm workers they milk cows and hannaford buys their milk and they're working more they're working seven days a week they're making less than minimum wage and they're asking hannaford to sign on to a program they created that would guarantee them the same basic labor rights that all of us have at work. oh okay cool yeah all right Thank you. For sure, have a great rest of your day. You too. So as a protest for dairy farmers, apparently the farmers don't make enough money and they're demanding more money or something, they make less than minimum wage. So that's what that protest is about, I go for it. All right, we got a little table right here. Look at this, guys, the lobster roll. Man, the heart and soul of high roller. All right, boys, there it is. Look at this. And got potato salad, a little lobster roll here. A little two ounce lobster roll. We're not like starving, so I just wanted to come here and try it, you know what I mean? I got this uh, thing with garlic mayonnaise on it and butter. 
Alright, let's go for it here. Look at this. Yep. Oh, damn. Look at this meat, bro. There's lobster meat. All right, we just left. High roller. Those lobster rolls, man. That was an amazing lobster roll. Yeah, so we just made it to Fort Williams Park here in Portland, South Portland. It is absolutely beautiful here. Um, we're about to go walk around, but I'm gonna go over here and just give you a sneak peek. Stepping on a bunch of big freaking stones, dude. This is the craziest looking beach I've ever been to. <laughs> Super sick. Let's go ahead and walk up to the top of this hill. I think that there's like some kind of old abandoned mansion or castle or something up here it looks really cool huh maybe this was like somebody's house that they tried to build and then like maybe it never worked out I don't know super cool you cannot go in it it says don't enter, it has razor wire and stuff. Look at this tree, this is a beautiful tree. If anybody knows what kind of flowers this is, I wanna know, cause these are beautiful dude. They're everywhere up here. I'm not exactly sure where this trail goes. We're trying to make it over to the lighthouse, but I don't know exactly where it's at. Ha! Look at this. Our first view of the lighthouse way over here in the fog. That's where we're heading. It's pretty out here. Yes. I can't get over this coastline, man. So this is a very popular attraction, so there's gonna be a lot of people over here, which is whatever. I'm sure that it's busier when the weather's nice, but I kinda like the fog anyway, so. This rock has some painting stuff on it, some writing that's kind of rubbed off. Something about a shipwreck, Annie something shipwreck Christmas Eve, I think is what it says. I guess that there was a shipwreck here way back. I think it's 1886. I could be wrong, but man. So cool to like look over a cliff into the ocean. I've never seen that before. Here's the fort thing. This has definitely gotta be some kind of old fort, military fort. I guess this is where they would like keep the guns and stuff. And I look out at the ocean, right? Be peeking through here with the guns. Dude, you know what happened last time we went to like a dark hole? Oh, I didn't know. 
Yeah. You guys remember the spider cave, right? It does go back. Oh my god! Oh, oh dude! They're going everywhere, Kaden. Oh. Let's get out of here. Kaden. You go. I don't trust that crap no more, dude. Not after the spider cave. Kaden, don't want him. Kaden's going in hot. Oh my gosh, that's scary. Kaden's right on you, right on you. Shut up. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Does it keep going? Yes. Go with me. Come on. What is that? No. Look at the wall, dude. What is that? All right. <laughs> We're in this. I don't even know. Look how small it is. This is how thin it is. Awesome. Ah. All right. Keep going, dude. Gosh dang it. This is not good. This is scary. Dude. Scary stuff I kind of do. Oh, it turns again, dude. No, it doesn't. It keeps going, yeah. Oh my gosh. Where are we going, bro? Is this the catacombs of Paris or something? I don't know. Okay. Yeah, we're going out. Oh, it just loops around? Okay, yeah. All right, guys, it just loops around. I thought we were going deep, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we just went around. We did. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I do. I thought we were going in somewhere, dude. I thought we were about to find something. Oh, there's more cliffs over here. Oh, this is sick. This is so cool, dude. What the heck is this, dude? This is sick. <laughs> wow. Dang. Super cool, bro. It's just crazy to me that I'm here, you know, like doing this for real. It's just weird to be in Maine. Like Maine's one of those places that just like in my brain, like I never, it just was so far away, you know? Me only a year ago wouldn't believe that I'm doing what I'm doing. And like a lot of people ask like what I do for a living and stuff. And they think that I make a bunch of money or something because I'm always traveling and you know, doing stuff like this. And it's like, no, I. I don't make a lot of money. All I do is I just don't let fear get in my way of what other people think. I don't care what people think about the way that I'm living, my choices, and I don't doubt myself. And I don't doubt that God's gonna give me what I ask for. I prayed about stuff like this before. And then it somehow manifested into reality, you know, to where I like doing it. And I don't know how I'm doing it because logically it doesn't make any sense like financially or time wise. Of course, I'm not going to explain what I do for a living on YouTube or whatever. But like, if you know, you know, like your boy's not, not rolling in the dough, you know, I'm not, I'm just blessed that I've gotten this. And it's just a sign to me that God's telling me to keep doing what I'm doing, that I'm going the right direction because he's gifted me this amazing road trip with my brother, able to do what I love to do, my passion, film YouTube videos. And I mean, again, you know, I've said it before, I don't, I don't care that I'm not getting a lot of views or a lot of subscribers because I know that that's coming too, just like this was. You know, this was a far out dream for me and now it's here and having a full-time YouTube career is also a far out dream <laughs> but I know that it's coming so yeah I don't know man I I don't take stuff like this for granted and I think that this is just a testament that like 
it doesn't matter what situation that you're in financially or time if you just believe that it can be done whatever you want in life if it feels right in your heart really it feels deep down it's it's right it's what you should be doing it's what you should have just believe that you will get it and you will that's all that it takes is just believing all right well that was it for Fort Williams Park now we're on the road back to New Hampshire. We're there for tonight, and then we're heading on to Lake Placid, New York. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this kind of content, please like, subscribe, comment, and of course, watch some of my other videos. If you haven't watched any of the other videos from this series, here's one right here above Caden's face. And when you watch other content of mine, it really helps my channel more than anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace out. Live Cosmic.